Security guard killed as robbers escape with 10 million in Portmore robbery. My name is Yochain and this is the YIP Verified YouTube channel. Gunmen got away with about 10 million in cash in a daring mid morning robbery in which a security guard was killed and two others injured. Reports are that the security guards employed to Beryllium Limited were delivering money to a Jamaica National Automated Teller Machine ATM in Portmore Pines Plaza in St. Catching when men in a white Subaru motor car pulled up. Two men alighted from the vehicle and opened fire with high-powered weapons as the guards were walking towards the ATM. The guards were hit. The men then grabbed two bags containing the money from the guards and made their escape. One of the male guards was pronounced dead at hospital while the female guard who underwent emergency surgery for gunshot wounds to both legs and the upper body is said to be in serious but stable condition. The other male guard was treated and released. <laughs> Book clam, you're over 100 fucking shot, over 100 blood clad shot, me all a shake to pussy clad. Hey, that girl like your fuck. At over 100 blood clad shot, me all a shake to pussy clad. Brother, as me reach a blood clad, I can be a crisis. How the fuck this one? Also, police say the guards had no chance because they were fired on from behind. In the meantime, senior superintendent of police in charge, 
of the St. Catherine South Police Division, Christopher Phillips, is calling for security companies to review their courier operations after today's fatal shooting and robbery in St. Catherine. Them come to load up the machine in the ATM in the morning. Uh, and like the man them done thought it out and plan it out. And she said the girl had the escort. The next security there with the money I go in. Uh, she had the escort. So she pussy man them like you know. Madness. The man them just jump out of the car. Four man, four rifle in her hand. And just start wet shot. One security girl dead you know. And the next security man you know. Next one down to the hospital you know. Two bag of money man them grab. Fast in her move. You know. They are one of some foreign crime this a play out party, so they put it there with a normal with some blood class set a gun them G. Now people viewers, the police them say a two man, but eyewitness say a four man, you understand? So maybe by now and tomorrow them we confirm a really how much and plus them supposed to have camera for one or two of them building the right they saw what the robbery happened. So just time you understand we maybe get a footage of the direct incident soon now people viewers to all this robbery go down it seems like the man there been a study the security guard them probably weeks who knows probably all a month or two you understand them must study all the security guard they move because as security guards them jump out of them armored vehicle and I for going to the ATM guns blazing you understand as them come out guns blazing them basically get ambushed because the gunman them attack them from back and start shoot to start shoot them not say freeze or don't move and nothing like that them just jump out and start fire and from ever since me not like all the security them will deliver money move you know you know me not rate all them road them just move regular you understand like so them not carry millions they move like a 10,000 of them are carrying a pocket or something like so. You understand? And I'm going to say it before, I'm going to say it again. The work with them are dangerous. And I hope this incident is an, is an eye opener to them. They have to be careful. And always be alert. You understand? Get ready, be alert. Because they don't know when gunman are going to strike and try to rob. Well, unless one of them have worked with the gunman, them now, or the only way that one of them are going to know. Otherwise, from that, I don't know when I'm going to strike. So, they have to just take precaution every time.